I'm gonna try. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try something new. Wait. Oh wait, I'm not pulled up. <clears throat> so that's all you need to put on there is that uh regular vinyl, huh? Yeah, I mean it looks pretty good. <clears throat> I didn't make those. No? No, those were bought and paid for. No, yeah, what are you gonna do? They look good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't you have a thing to I do? do? I do. I do. I made the we, bigger one. I think we're gonna have to get with Stuart to uh to do our our T shirts, I think. Yeah, I got all that too though. <laughs> well, he's got a dual color one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, what that, that is. way we can do the black and the and the blue. Like the make, actual logo. How do they make a dual color the one? I have no idea. He got he got the I don't know what it's called, sublimation or something like that. He I mean I can do it, but like you have to line it up perfectly and like make two different ones. Like a, you have to outline one to make another one. Right. Yeah. But well, uh um he got him to to do his own trophies and plaques or whatever for um, oh, he has he oh he has it or he means he has somebody. No, he has one. He owns one. Oh my god. Yeah, if, um if you go to his page or the Mecca Louisiana page, you can see like the plaques that he's been printing. It's pretty awesome. Dude, your your uh your uh cell phone hotspot might be better than your Wi Fi. It's your your Verizon camera. Is, your camera Verizon looks is, stupid clean. <laughs> Verizon is crushing. It's crushing uh I laughed out loud, Charlie, when uh, David said uh what do you got? Little Fay little Vietnam. What? <laughs> Charlie had this stupid. Uh, I'm gonna get to that. But Charlie had this stupid like shade hat, and he posted it as his profile picture. And he, uh, David Miskus or something. Mikish. You know Mikish. Mm -hmm. he, he called him little little Vietnam. <laughs> 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 I don't know why. That just that hit me. That hit home. That little, hit home. Little, little Faye for short. For sure. For sure. <laughs> that was so stupid. I'm not so telling yeah, you sorry. What's up, uh, Rusty. Sorry about the delay uh, starting, but uh, yeah, the Cox is out right Pause. now, so I'm hot spotting. Pause for my phone, and uh, apparently Verizon's better than Cox. But I'll tell you that the, the other occupants of this residence are unhappy oh, at the moment. I can't imagine stomping around down there. Oh my god! I had to ply them with pizza and string cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, nah, I don't think Fade is going to Indy next week. No, I can't do it, man. I actually, uh, I've gotten a lot of messages about going to that one in the hybrid audio show and stuff. And Where's that I, uh, I say the same thing every time. It's like I have to like minimize my out of town shows um, while the babies are small. You know, just I don't. I hate to to put all that on Mama uh, just for audio. You know. Yeah, just bring them with them. Pile them if up. They, honestly, if they were a little older, I, I probably would. What's, the, what's like, the minimum age? Five, six, seven, eight. I mean, if you can go to the bathroom without me going with you. <laughs> Twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Hey, look. If uh, no, we're not anybody going. notice. Yeah, we're That's, we're making cups now. We're making cups. And AKA, stickers, aka we got stickers that you right. can stick we to your own cups. We will put stickers on a cup and upcharge. No, nah, we're not. We, we can't make it the slam. It's literally, it's just too far. It's on the opposite side of the world or something. You got to get a passport and stuff. <sighs> For, I ain't got I, it, dude. I think I you need it. papers. Do you I, need I papers to go that far? I don't. I ain't got the time or the money or the government manpower to. Nah, we could do the money if if people would donate on uh, the YouTube. Maybe we could go. <laughs> <laughs> we need to maybe start a Patreon. Everybody, I don't, give I don't us, know what that is. Everybody, give us like zero 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 <laughs> one Bitcoin every month, and we can hey, maybe Mel, go. Going on. Kyle can absolutely be the guest if he wants to call in. Somebody tag him and tell him come and call. Yeah, there you go. I'll talk to him. Actually, yeah, we do. Uh, we want to actually have someone call in that is going to but, Slam wait, and wait. has been to Slam is several years. So we can talk all about slam. You're gonna have to knock lock to it. get in. Yeah, yeah you're gonna have to knock it. to get in so I can see your face, <laughs> and then we can make fun of you on TV. Yes, 
A hundred percent. On the interwebs. Fourth uh, or sixth trunk setups uh, through the armrest. Yes, absolutely. It's actually one of my favorite trunk setups I ever did. It was one of the first. I used to have a Lexus IS-300. And, uh, Humble brag. I, <laughs> uh, Scotty Johnson, shout out. And um, the best setup that I had, uh, or the best alignment that I could find uh, was uh, daily, that is, was a, a blow through, an armrest. Didn't blow through, or uh, what do they call it? A ski pass, yeah. ski pass. Except that Walter Scott from back in the day, OG, he called it a fishing hole, Didn't fishing uh, rod hole. Who was that? Was that somebody we in don't Florida, ski. or was that Dave Leave? It was either Dave Leave or a random in Florida that did some ignorant like six order in like a trunk and like was doing stupid numbers with it, mm-hmm. like firing through the uh, what you call it? The uh, not the ski hole. The rear, deck, the rear deck, the rear deck. Yeah, yeah. I it always, was like some ignorant numbers, and nobody believed I always, it. I always tell people, uh, I think it was Dave. You know, if you can, if oh, you boy. can, it's probably the best way. It also saves your trunk, you know, because most of the pressure is being directed forward. Right. right. Uh, so, what'd you do today? You didn't you get anything I, uh, done today? Yeah, I did. Uh, I did some hundred fifty dollars SPL challenge stuff oh. today. I don't know. I'm getting turned anybody... off because there's too many fucking loud people in this. I know. Thing right now. So I'm like, annoying. Dude, like, I don't I even can't... want to do it no more. I just want to I'll go take a nap. Fuck y'all. I'm doing this shit. I know. I'm totally taking it. I'm just going to start drinking and take a nap. <laughs> I can't keep up with these guys, man. Good. Great. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I don't know if any of you guys are, I, well, if you're not, some of y'all might be watching this on YouTube later, but uh, for now, if y'all saw, I, I uploaded a video of building the box today. Oh, that's and, uh, <laughs> man i'll tell you it's tough to do it's tough to do but it can be done and i did it today and the box that i made today is exhibit a for there is such a thing as too much port area <laughs> that is a thing that is a thing and uh actually it was one of the requests when we when you posted earlier today about topics for the night yeah. uh for the podcast uh, was port area? How do you figure it and such and whatnot? Yeah, just throw Jacob arrows Puller. in it. Shout just, out! Just throw arrows at it till stuff's getting loud. Right. So, uh, and water. it's like a telltale sign, telltale. And you will maybe never ever see this, but it is a telltale sign if the sub, like, if it's doing like this, and it fuck if it starts going and it starts sucking down. I don't know if anyone's ever seen this, Pause. and if you ever have, it feels like it's like out of phase or something. But it's like instead of doing this number, it starts, it starts ex- excurting. <laughs> like in inside, like it starts going in, to any. Yes, it's, so, it goes inside the box. So it, the the excursion is like inside the box. It's retarded. But uh, oh God, the other that was, that was obviously. Much. Other all obvious telltale sign is that it is exa- it's just as loud, sealed like with the port plugged as it is with the port. That's open. retarded. <laughs> so it's either free air or sealed. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad that sub is garbage. All right, garbage. question: When the specs on the sub say recommended is one point eight to two point five cube, what is the difference in performance uh, if you go for a smaller or larger enclosure? So, space makes base, right? So I always err to the side of larger, <clears throat> if uh, if you can. Wallet, <laughs> or wall, but every time. Trunk wall. So uh, a larger box will usually. It depends on on the tuning and whatnot. But a lar- yes, a larger box will be peakier, uh, most of the time. But that also means it's a little more efficient. So you get a little free SPL there uh smaller box if it's within spec be a little flatter maximal maximally flat uh but yeah larger is is usually better like i said space makes base so air to the side of uh large that's kind of the question i asked you like earlier like at what point does like you have to make the box smaller for it to be able to take more power so it can get louder you know yeah it's 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 uh, it's, it's counterintuitive. It is. It's counterintuitive because Burt Box are are very small normally, um, so it's it's a. So like they make them smaller so they can take. 
all right, take a, a five, uh, I don't know, a 2,000 watt sub, make it take 8K to do a number. But if they made it bigger, it would do not as loud, but more efficient, lower scores or something, you know, like, where's the, where's the, you know, where's the intersect? I was, Shout out I was, Steve Carnahan. I was inverted. Power in the house. So, um, <laughs> Oh, it's inverted. So <laughs> here's the thing that I, no one, no one talks about, but I will spill the beans right now. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, so in a sealed box, like a certain size enclosure will have a resonance of its own, right? And if if you look at a sealed, uh, if you look at a ported box impedance plot, there will be two peaks. One is the box, and one is the port. So the smaller the box gets, the higher that resonance is going to be. And the larger it gets, the lower that resonance is going to be. So you kind of want to you want to manipulate the resonance of the box to begin with before you even put the port in the equation. You want to try to manipulate that resonance where you want it before you even start tuning the thing. So the smaller the box, the higher the resonance. That's why we see a lot of small boxes in small cars, like a CRX or a Panda. Um, and why we see a larger box in larger vehicles, Tahoe, even Explorer. You know, like Franklin's box uh, looks like it's it's probably larger than than most he quote said unquote not. Bo- burp boxes. I mean, it looks like it's two and a half. Okay, never mind. I thought it looked way bigger than that. Or yeah, it might even be three. But yeah, said. you're you're absolutely right. A larger box will will create a larger peak at tuning. Like it, unless you tune too low, you know, and then you're gonna start seeing a saddle in the response. And the and uh, it's <laughs> he's laughing. He doesn't want to tell us how big it is. Pause. <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect use of pause. It was pause. Tell us how big it is, guys. <laughs> In the, not not in the chat. Can you give us PM in us. cubic feet. Yeah. Tell us how big it is in cubic feet. <laughs> uh, uh, Two point one. See, yeah, it's about that's just like the same exact size I built today. Dude, it looked ridiculous like though. It looked 25. it looked taller than man. It just looked huge. Yeah, it's um, it, okay. it's compact like this way compact, but it's tall. And it's like two. It was like two four inch ports too. He's also lying. <clears throat> yeah, he is. Because I think yeah. he told me differently. I'm about to look it up right now. Um, maybe he meant inches. No. Maybe he meant inches. Zing. In the no homo sense of the word. Uh. Yeah, SPL's SPL's a mystery. Who who just posted that? I think Derek, one of them, posted that meme that said like, when uh something like you do all the mods to your new build and you lose a DB. <laughs> yeah. Dude, for real. Dead. You know what the like one of the most heartbreaking things that I see online is, um, people will add like a thousand dollars to their electrical like new all two new bats and just like they're thinking they're the just gonna start man. wrecking shop and it's like a it's a zero sum <laughs> yeah yeah he see he lied he's told me differently but uh circling back to the the port area thing because uh someone else said, mentioned something about excursion uh but yeah that that is how you determine port areas excursion uh, uh well when it did this, like the, the, the determining factor, the determining factor is vent mock, right? Is that's just how fast the, the air is moving in the port. And um, once there is a point of diminishing returns and that point is around 10 meters a second. If you get any slower than that, <clears throat> you're actually going to start losing. Uh, you're going to start losing. Uh, so somewhere between 10, 17, 15, 17 is probably optimal. Most people will say if you can keep it under 30 meters per second, it, uh, it, you won't have any uh, – uh, you can keep compression to a minimum. Who's dead? Uh, then people like – The woofer like cookbook. Pe- people with like letters behind their name, you know. Um, and and the people that we know, you know, the, the, the guys that, uh, that know better. The people I know start cutting up baskets on the nightshade. You seen that? No. So, no, I didn't see that. You didn't but, see yeah, Hank, I, Hank Hank cut baskets on his nightshades. Hank is a crazy nuts, person. Bro. He's a crazy it's like person. A thousand dollars. There's huh? like literally no one crazier. <laughs> he just does in shit. audio than Hank. He I'm just serious. does shit. I love he it. He is a maniac. He's a maniac. A maniac. He cut like 
He cut like a couple of the braces off. Like I think it was it four spoke boat basket basket. He cut like four, four of the mounting points. No, two of the mounting points off or something. It's just awesome. I mean, uh, Joe Price trimmed his uh, DDZ baskets. So like he the back him- side. No, 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 not the backside. Yeah, right. Is yeah. that what you're talking yeah, about? Like, yes. The, oh, yes. my God. He cut the freaking, the four things going up to the, uh, the t- he cut one of whole fully off. I'm telling you, he's, he's a freak. He's Sick. A, he's a crazy person. <clears throat> Dude, that's going to be the most ridiculous setup ever. 10, Nightshade 10s on 10, 6Ks. Or is it 20? Yeah, 162s Ooh. on deck. Like 30 hertz. Six, 62s on deck. Somebody guesses uh, number. Everybody, is it gonna be ready for slam? Put your guesses in the in the comments. I don't What's think it's gonna be Hank's ready for slam. Bill. And if you don't know what the crap we're talking about, go to Hank Veach's page immediately. And yeah, check this craziness out. Yeah, it was a six boat. Now it's like a three. <laughs> <laughs> Boss. I love Hank, dude. I yeah. love that kid. First bird, blah blah blah. blah, blah. <laughs> and it's just just hanging there. <laughs> Bro, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Can't do it. Let me warrant him. There it is. I don't even know how to say X, Z, and I ain't Corona's Algers. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I know that's not his real name, but he is like the unluckiest person in the history of mankind. He will like drop un- motors off the bass or something. He's like, uh, <clears throat> cannot do it. That would be nuts if he does a high 60s. This is a no wall. I don't know what he, I think he's going for base box and stuff, huh? That thing is ten tens. That's just that's just cool. I thought eight twelves in the S ten was cool. Now it's that's like two thousand seven ish. Now it's 8, just twelve. That's Ty, right? Ty's yeah, got eight twelves yeah. doing. That's the loudest 70. one, huh? Yeah. Him or what's the other guy? Is it? Uh, oh, J- uh, Chad. Jay? Chad. Jake. Jay. Um, no. Uh, no, Chad Stoley or something, isn't it? No, Chad. Well, I mean, Chad is obviously crazy, dumb, loud back in the day. Uh, these days, now that he's hamstrung yeah, it's with Ty Orion, and, it's another one. Uh, Jake uh, Cough. Cough? No, nope, don't know him. He's got the uh, he's got the uh, Sundown Compacts. Don't and, don't know. Is him. that that him, Jake Cole? <laughs> Somebody who? tell me who it is. Uh, it's doing a seventy no wall and a damn S ten. He's got three sundown compacts. And wait, is that the guy four, in the chat? Yeah, four oh. <laughs> billion watts. Is that you, brother? <clears throat> God, yeah. I know this. I don't. That's that's just crazy things. I thought I'd never see like a one sixty out of the trunk. I thought I'd never see that. And now it's just if you ain't doing that, just why even bring it out? Honestly, I mean Munson. Like, uh, Munson's almost at a seventy. Like I mean, yeah, almost. Know, his, but you his know, his stupid trunk is louder than a Cirrus. Oh yeah, it's by far. Retarded. Yeah, it's retarded. Sixty-seven. Yeah, yeah. That is like stop. Oh, Rob Collar. That's it. Collar. That's Collar. what I meant. Yeah, Rob, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. My bad. I, my I, I bad. was gonna say Kevin, but that's not my, him. He has my, a loud trunk. My B. My B. Rob. Yeah. Uh. That that yeah, and then like the seventy. Like. Well, I don't know. They changed all the rules for street beats, and all I, all I can know is street beat down here. Uh, but I thought I never thought I would see like a one sixteen street beat three or lower. You know, I that's not true because we saw a sixty street beat one back in the day. Mm. With remember two AQ tens in two. I don't think he did a sixty though. Yeah, he did. He just never got it on record. Well, that's what he, I mean. Well, that's what I mean. No, no, he got it on record. He did he like couldn't a, back it up. Or he did something. like fifty eights or something. Yeah, but still, I mean, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Retarded. What was that guy's name? Yeah, I know. Ryan McHugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He had he had Street Beat 2 also with four Solo X 10s. I think he could have, like, that, oh, yeah. year, that year, he could have won every single yeah. Street Beat yeah. un- with a street until beat he got one, to five. With a Street Beat 1 setup? Yeah, yeah until yeah. he got to five <laughs> and he had to go against Jeff Rowland. Because Rowland had, like, 70s. Yeah, he lies though. Rolling lies. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've seen some of his numbers. He, he does to, lie. He used to he tell us. Lie, he used lie. to tell us he did like one sixty three at like from like twenty five 20, hertz to seventy. Yeah, twenty two yeah, hertz was, out, out of the to, trunk. Yeah, with one ten yeah. or something. Like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Just do something. I wonder I where that van's at. And I wonder where. Uh, what's that other guy? Who's uh, uh, Bob? Uh, remember he said Soundstream. What was his name? 
You said a Soundstream fan? No. Nope. Bob. Nope. Bob Perello. Yeah, Bob Perello. You don't uh, know who that is? No. I mean, I've heard the name. That's oh, my name. God. He said the Soundstream van. 915 or something. All right, Q and A, people. Yeah, drop them. Drop them. If y'all y'all don't start, I'm gonna start talking about what I bought on Amazon. Uh oh, here we go. I'm gonna start bringing them out anyway. Nobody wants to buy Mountain's cars for some reason. I actually I want that white CRX. Oh yeah yeah. I think sexy. Somebody bought the caravan because I just asked about it the other day. Good. Good. <laughs> just take it. I don't want to be tempted. <clears throat> Sam I Dunn. A, I bought a I bought a fat Fat Max. Uh. I have a million of the blades and i never had the uh knife i used to just use them in my fingers and they kept getting cut up i keep i keep uh buying the cheap ones they're garbage like you might as well throw oh, yeah. them away when the blade goes dull because that's how bad yeah they yeah are. i'll every time i go to uh harbor freight I, they always have those little Ooh. ulfas in the in the jar at yeah. the checkout, yeah. and I'll grab like ten because they're the like box cutters? a dime. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're so bad, so bad. Yeah, Pirello's. He he was the first one I seen on video do a sixty like for thirty seconds in base race. He's like, I think that video still up there. He's like, I'll give it one more notch, and it went from <laughs> and it went from like a fifty eight to a sixty three. <laughs> it was so stupid. Dude, he, I, Mick is still the music king at the moment. He, he don't want that. Well, my Joe Price don't have it no more, and I don't claim who bought it. I don't care. It's always gonna be Joe Price's fan. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you, yeah. you can't. It's not yours. You bought Jordan it. was over here the other day. Actually, doing what? Uh, drinking. Uh, he came to the house after the show. And, like I, he didn't even bring the van. Bring the van. Mm. What the crap? Yeah. Yeah, he came out. To the Mecca show uh, Saturday without the van. What the hell, now, man? Why'd you buy it? Let's show out. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, did that. 60 Street Beat 3. Yeah, but I mean, those are, those are different classes 60s. now. Dude, Bojangles had a 60 Street Beat 3. He ain't do in it. Like he ain't do it. He ain't beat me with the... Uh, 10 years ago at like 29 hertz yeah. or something. Uh, that was the first one I got it to me. But they changed all the rules now. Now you could have like what? 315s or something yeah, like that? It's, I don't even know. Uh, they keep they change the rules like every it year. It used to be perfect. Like I thought it I thought it was. Yeah. Two tens, then four tens, then you know, four twelves. Nobody did f- eight tens until Bo did it, but And then just have an unlimited one. They should have Street P five just is it now? Is it just anything? Anything I you can street, anything you can drive in the lanes, you could just run. No, I think three street B four is, is Is that is new yeah, it's okay. like whatever you could have like a an extreme band if you want, I think. Well Street B four used to be like nobody ever built to the max in Street B four. It was weird. They would just well, do flat walls. Nobody knew you could do like clamshells back then, I guess. Like I just do infinite <laughs> twenty four. I just 12. I don't know if nobody like want, built built for music in USAC. Everybody yeah. was just uh man ba man man man. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, pick your own song was sick too. I hate that. You hated hate that? I hate picking your own oh song because I don't know music as well as y'all. <clears throat> so just give me the tracks. <clears throat> like I've been advocating that yeah. for forever it, is for everyone to have to use the same song. That used to be the most fun back in the day. Finding that song that nobody had. That I said zero appeal to me. <laughs> zero appeal. Why? I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, I got, I have zero, I have no desire to to go through 40,000 rap songs and find the one that has the best. Did you want everybody on on the same even playing field? Is that why? Or just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and look, but even now it's not because they still don't have every frequency. It's, you still, there's a gap. There's like seven hertz, huh? I hate to throw, uh, Janice under the bus again, uh, but uh, she had the right idea. They're behind the times. She had um, Bass Mechanic, Rob Grimes, and them um, uh, make a bunch of songs for her. Yeah, you know they did like the first ten songs on this on the USAC CD. Are you ready? Yeah, no, not those. Oh, like the a different the, ones. Yeah, yeah, like the bass tracks on. There's like a street beat CD oh, and then okay. like a regular CD before the tone start. And she had she uh, uh, 
you know, had them do a bunch of songs. Like all she had to do was say, look, make me one song with a decent range. And, uh, oh, you wanted has it, to use the song. You wanted a different fre- frequencies, the whole song that, well, look, my original vision for, uh, um, bass battles mm-hmm. was for everyone to use the same song and it'd mm-hmm. be a wide range of frequencies and it'd be a longer, de- <gasps> excuse me, longer mm-hmm. demo. But uh, it just turned into a one-minute street beat. Andrew Bailey, shout out. Amper Audio in the house. <laughs> wasn't that cro- Christmas song? Wasn't That's that Crossfire? Hilarious. They were banned, wasn't they? Because they, you can't have a. Uh, oh, we got a an actual truck. question. What's your opinion on JL Audio's write-up stating the port displacement? shouldn't be more than one third of the final net volume um I, listen jl has a lot higher Sweet paid and and more educated people on the payroll than i do um it does get a little out of hand once you start building a, a port um the size that it needs to be especially in small boxes like try a, a 1.5 cubic foot net box for a 12 with you know enough port area to satisfy your uh, vent mock it's going to be a cubic foot you know what i mean it's like it's going to be it's going to be crazy you might as well build a, a transmission line at that point but i don't agree with it as a hard and fast rule because it uh, it breaks down on on smaller on smaller boxes but it i don't uh i don't see any any reason why it why it should be you're you're gonna compress it one way or the other there hasn't been a one bananas yet not one <laughs> let's try to make try to make it a whole time uh no i'm there will be there will be one. <laughs> whoever, whoever counts up the most bananas in last <laughs> show wins a sticker pms it yes see the sticker right there i bet maybe gotta make it smaller for a cup or not that's it I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good uh, size, like in person, yeah. but maybe on camera, it's not so good. I tell that to the ladies all the time. <laughs> hey, in person, it, I'm looks, fucking, it looks better, dude. Right. I'm, I'm just gonna, the, the I'm, lighting, like shadows and shit. I got the pause, and uh, that's what she said on live tonight. <laughs> yeah, I haven't said it one time, Stephen. Later, Mel. Hope Give me another win. question. Let's go. Uh, Ask what? everyday audios anything. Thanks, Jake, man. Thanks, Jake. We just, I, uh, we just wing I it. wonder sometimes if uh, we need to like read out the comments that we're talking about because later when we publish the YouTube, people won't know oh, what yeah. crap we're talking about. <clears throat> All right. Well, I did the last two uh, questions. Um, are you gonna are you gonna extend the uh, challenge to the weekend? No. Damn. No, that shit was set before we. You Nazi hard. judge, man. You hard. I I, the people want uh, fun. Listen. No, I understand. My man said, "Look, I found, fun. I found, I found Ford subs for thirty dollars each. What's up? Fuck your subs. <laughs> yeah, Retail, up. bitch. Get shut out of here. Up. It's messed up. <laughs> that man just wants to do his forty and get on the list. Listen, I get it, man. Put it. Look, mm-hmm. if you want to enter your shit, enter it. Please, 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 enter it with an asterisk. You're scaring the with people. With an asterisk. What? Well, with an asterisk. Oh, okay." So you're, you're <laughs> just it, please, please. You got it for 150 bucks. That's cool, man. That's awesome. He it's had a receipt, legal, but it's not legal. It's not eligible for prizes, is what I'm saying. Like everybody play by the rules. All F in year. Guy comes in three days before the challenge is over and gets a stupid like 90 percent off sale at Best Buy <laughs> one day in the middle. Of, you know, at the end of May. I'm sorry, I can't do it. What a uh. uh... Did you did you verify the panda score yet or? No, uh, he they'll send me. I mean, listen, I've seen his scores. Right, uh, right. His car the last two years, so I know those guys are legit. But Port I still, scores. I, I Port still scores. told him they have to send me a walk around video. Uh, Ask them how much. Let us let's buy it. They slinkied that coil. By the way, that, did they that really? Was a great, that was a great video. I, Wait, I, mean, I don't mean to call what? them out, but they slinkled the crap out. Wait, of Wait, the they coil. sent you a private video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because I have to verify everything. I, I know, but would you it. verify a higher run? Um, 
Well, the the uncut, you know, because he had this the score on the screen when he started his second run. <laughs> Jesus, but, wait, yeah, how so much? They power? Tried I thought to they were do the back to like, backs again, but who knows how much power they had? I thought they was only using. I mean, I'm sure they have ignorant power, but I thought they was only it, using like a thousand watts or something. Nah, I mean, to do a sixty on a cheap sub, it's got to be crazy. Yeah, maybe so. Yes, in case anyone's not following, <clears> like people are knocking on the door of a hundred and sixty dB with a hundred and fifty dollars sub. Yeah. So yeah, it's craziness. Him and Franklin's right up there, huh? One fifty eight yeah. point. They're yeah. like, and Daniel New is like. Well, I thought you said he had smoke. Daniel, he's waiting though. He don't want to post know. it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Daniel New though, not for nothing. And listen, we we allowed this to happen, <clears throat> or me personally allowed this to happen, but uh, the uh, like the discounted subs and the such and such. But Daniel New legit took. The, the spirit of the challenge yeah, and I love just it. wrecked shop with twenty dollars subs. Like the other scores are on discounted subs or recon or yard sale or whatever. Daniel New goes to eBay or Amazon, wherever he got his shit, See, got twenty dollars subs yeah. and just wreck shop fifty seven, fifty eight. That's what I want to do. That's what we need to do. We need I don't even know. Get rid of I don't know. Maybe get rid of sub only and make another class Amazon I, score, Amazon no, only, or something you know like something I like, retail. I like the sub only. No class. yard sale, no we'll refurb. Just have to, we'll have to revisit. We'll have to revisit. I just I like people offering our competitors discounts. Man, I want people to have yeah, well that, but not like bucks. eBay refurb stuff I, or like. We'll we'll have to we'll talk about. It. We got like six eight. Most it shouldn't, and it, and it needs to just be like year round. <laughs> so I mean, you Ed can post Lester, whatever. Oh, Ed Lester says, "I'm not reading all you, that." Have you studied not reading power all that. ranges of enclosures? Meaning, some enclosures are efficient at low power, but reach an asymp- asymptotic peak with more power versus other enclosures inefficient at low power but have higher limit. I mean, yes. Um, <laughs> Nate Stroud, I see you in the first gen CRX. Love it. I I have, man. But uh, to sit down and and you you'd have to go over the the data to decide which at what point. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many variables, so many variable power ranges. Let me. Uh, I have to commit some brain power to that low power. But that's, I think. The see, I think the major contributing factor is is just compression, what you're talking about. So that could be power compression, it could be port compression, or it could be your uh, it could be your your sympathetic uh, resonances in the vehicle, you know. So you have 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 sympathetic ones in in um, lower power, and they start fighting you at higher power. Or we could do clamped on the sub only challenge. Not everybody has a claim. It's hard enough for oh, yeah, some true. of these guys to get a. Bet. I mean, even get get a um, front to back f- grounds versus rear frame grounds. Okay, so uh, Tony Demore actually did a video on a unibody car, and they're all. I'm not going to say they're all pretty similar, but they are pr- pretty similar. So I did a a, a lot of uh, you know back of the envelope math on this so don't take this with a grain of salt but it's a good rule of thumb okay so a unibody frame ground like not frame ground but a unibody ground is good for about one run of copper okay so if you're sending more than 300 amps from the front to the back you need an extra run if you're sending less than 300 amps from the front to the back you're fine to to ground to the uh, to the unibody the chassis and and when I say 300 amps front to back that's what your alt and your front battery are capable of sending like everyone always says I have 10,000 watts in the trunk how many runs do I need it doesn't matter that doesn't matter what matters is what your alternator and your front battery putting out that's what matters because that's the current transfer you're trying to get from the front to the back. So, uh, now speaking on body on frame, body on frame have a ton 
literally a ton of steel between the front and the back. Rough calculations from my personal truck, which is a small truck, let alone like larger trucks that are body on frame. Steel is relatively shitty conductor, but there's so much of it, right? Uh, so con- conductivity is is cross section, uh, and con and the electrical conductivity. So larger cross section is going to have more current uh, ampacity, which isn't really a word, but so there's so much steel from front to back, rough math, body on frame, nine runs. So unibody, Jesus. one run, body on frame, nine runs. So Jesus. any more than that, then yeah, start sending friggin' ground, dedicated ground runs to the back. Other than that, just save your money. I used to like uh, all those DB drag guys that did like 20 runs from well, the back just, of the CRX. Well, CRX is really not all that great at transferring current. It's just a shitty a unibody design coming to the back, and it won't transfer more than like 200 amps or so. That's why they keep sending them, keep sending them, because it keeps gaining. What happens if you built a box to VAS and tune port to FS? Uh, okay, so VAS is uh, it's sort of it represents the springiness of a sub. It's represented in a volume of air. So volume of air has a certain springiness. Uh, so a small volume has a certain springiness. A larger volume has a certain springiness. So the um, the suspension of a sub, uh, the VAS is the springiness of the of the suspension represented represented as a volume of air. The FS is the point of highest impedance. And is which is just like naturally where the sub wants to go. So if you t- if you built a box to VAS to tune port to FS, well, it just depends, right? There's other there are other things that go into designing a box than those two, but that those are very that's like the big there's a big three when you're designing a box, right? Big three: VAS is one, FS is one, the other is QTS. So it depends on if you're looking for like a burp box or a maximally flat box, music box, whatever. QTS will go into that equation. Knowledge. But, I mean, I guess you. I mean, I guess you could do that, but we we need to know the QTS. That way, we know the uh, springy. The response. Springy. We know the response. Who's louder between the two? Uh, Skip is definitely louder, but I have more championships. Who said that? I do have the same clothes from the box bill because I did that today. Man, you're scrolling the way back up. Take a shower. No, I'm not showering. No, you think you no? Know, you did a 57. I didn't. I never did a 57. I got a 60. When you did a 60? Zip. Oh yeah, you talking about an S10? Yeah. Yeah. But no, I mean I did it like a 59.99 in the CRX. Oh yeah, when you did that? After uh, after fun because the the I built the in retard what? for for music. I built the retard for oh, base, base boxing. boxing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I got back to the shop, I just did a burp just to see, and it did a 60. You're amazing. Wait, what uh, sub was it? <laughs> Ferrite. Let's put it that way. What? What? How many? Size? The 312s. Oh, okay. Three HCD 12s. Oh, that was terrible. Tangent. I was just as loud with two, but I, I added the third just for the cone area and the power handling, or the spread it out. Yeah, he is reading. He is reading college. I have impressive. two turtles, Ray. I have two two red two yellow belly sliders in the back. That's why we do down south. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to listen to. I'm trying to catch up on comments, you guys. Uh, no one wants to believe the bucket can. Oh yeah. Oh, I did. I, like I you did can have zero seven. compression if you use a, a Home Depot bucket as your port. I promise. I'm so fucking. Loud if you don't have a right. front battery, Joey, all you need is to get the the alt. From the front to the back. There you go. If you have a 300 amp alt, one run, frame ground, not even frame, unibody. You're good. You're good. You guys save your money on these dedicated uh, ground runs. Although, they're not going to hurt you. They're not well, going to hurt you're, you. You're scrolling way too far back. These people don't matter right now. In well, this it, took time me too, it took me too long to answer the one. BS is suspension. Stiff, I love that converted. video series, Cal. That's what I just said, Jake. Yeah, uh, you're going too far back. I know. SD also computes into VAS. Multiple small mids versus fewer larger. I that's a good one. And uh, wait, who said that? Because I love that. 
I know. Ty Williamson asked multiple small mids versus fewer large. Oh mids God! Outdoors. Always the larger ones, huh? Always, one hundred percent of the time, you want to default to fewer, larger drivers. Uh, just well, <laughs> I guess it depends. See, like we're talking street battles here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the larger the woofer. I mean, yeah, mid, not 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 one ten versus. 46 and a half, you know, right? You talk, you're talking, um, you're talking more like overall sound quality ish, yes, yes, if 100%. you got, yeah, if you got seven different speakers on one door panel, it's gonna be seven different spots where that sound is trying to come directly to your head at, yeah. I, I would, if I were building doors for like bass bottles, I would do like one or two huge mids, like the biggest ones I could fit. And then, like woofers, I mean, like a twelve or a fifteen. And then I would do three inch, three or four inch mid mids. And then, if I had to have super tweeters, I would do super tweeters. But everyone, uh, it's not an hour goes in, but everybody does like multiple, multiple small uh, woofers. But uh, one comment that was made, uh, Hank said, if you have any kind of pressure, in that's the cabin, weird. But somebody said I've never seen it. I've never yeah, seen I mean, it. Either. But he's loud as ball, so I, I can't. Uh... Yeah, he said if you have one large speaker in the front, like it'll shred it'll it. Shred it yeah, at one sixty dBs or something. But that doesn't seem true. Stop lying, Hank. What? You reading How comments? You... Yeah, but I'm I'm pretty far behind. Do a kick flip. I can do a kick flip, Cal. Can you really? 100%. You lied last time and said you were going to show Actually, us. Actually, you know didn't. what's funny? You know what's funny is I was trolling. I was just strolling through Walmart the other day. Do and, it. Uh, Live. I was with the babies. I was with the babies. I was pushing a buggy and I was like, Tack I got to go through the toys. Even though they're going to start yelling for toys, I had to go through mm. the toys to see if they had any skateboards because I was going to do a. Uh, no, you weren't. I was going to do a kickflip video. You can't do a kickflip. Shit. Can you really? Any, anybody want to take bets right can now? Can you really do a kickflip? Yes. Like, when's the last time you've done done one? Nineteen. I mean, it's probably been a decade. But. There. <laughs> I don't know. It looks so easy when they do it. I, I sometimes I get down a rabbit hole of like skateboard videos. I don't know how I got there, but I just watch them. Dude, I saw like Tony Hawk <clears throat> took over for. I guess that's the thing, yelling out the yeah, window. Yeah, do, do a kick, kick flip. flip. Yeah. Tony Hawk took I it seen over that the one. other day. I just said like, that. That was the greatest video I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Mostly it's, uh, who's that other guy? Eric Costin. Yeah. You know who that is? You don't know who these guys are? Bro, come on. He, I mean, he, no. He, I like These new guys are crazy. They're crazy. He's not new, but yeah. He normally does it. But I've been watching this one guy's series. It was like. Impossible tricks of Rodney Mullen or something. Did you ever see those? No, you didn't. Rodney Mullen is like <clears throat> all. Yeah, he like invented every trick. Every he, he every, every single trick, trick he I had known to man. And the what's funny is the freestyle board that Rodney Mullen used to ride um, is now like that's what everybody rides Dude. like with the dual the dual thing. There's no way Derek is doing a wheelie on anything. Shit, There's Dude, no I do. But on back a beach in the bike. Day, Back in the day, skateboarding used to be my uh, my car. That's audio, weird. So suck it. That's I, weird. I, Steven said I ignored his comment, so now I got to scroll back up. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? You didn't even have a skateboard. Oh, here we go. Explain how you can have more amperage getting pulled than you're actually producing. You have a 370 amp alt with a single run of two alt. With a 400 amp fuse, you blow the fuse because the lithium bank needs to draw money. I can't ride skateboard. I'll bust my ass. I can't Four. rollerblade either. Well, uh, that Steven, that just sounds like you're all spiked to doing more than 400 amps, brother. I don't know what to tell you. Sent but it. Can you clip an alt? Science. Can you clip an alt? Where's Jonathan I, Patrick? I know. Uh, I don't know the, if anybody's ever seen David Mix's <laughs> video, but... Uh, at finals that year, I had a 300 amp fuse coming from a 300 amp ball and end caps in the back, and it's it was sucking those things down and it kept blowing my fuse. <laughs> That's weird. Now, I mean, that was when I was you know I was like running a TFE at a quarter on doing street beat. That was fantastic. Anybody ever seen that video? No, that was so much fun. 
Do I gotta pull it up? That was the base bucket port. You might need to find that. Your your videos are so scattered out. I, well, it's David's video. It's not mine. Dan uh, Current. Not yeah, today, you, Dan. Not today, Dan. <clears throat> we at Monk. I can I can absolutely slam. Chill out. Also, the other thing, uh, Steven, Chill out. is a uh, lower oh, wait. voltage. I can't pull current. It I'm on Firefox. Don't make fun. Who has Firefox? Dude. If somebody out there can figure out why Google Chrome mutes my mic, that's the whole problem. I cannot use Dude, Google Chrome. Just download Brave Dude. Browser. Everyone out there right now, what is go it? and download the Brave Browser. That sounds like a scam. Oh, is this a paid advertisement? Actually, it's the opposite. I don't think so. They block <clears throat> all ads. If you opt into ads, I'm gonna dunk if ten you foot opt tomorrow. into ads, they will pay you and basic attention token. You remember when y'all kept trying to push that bit tube crap? Uh, yeah, that's still gonna be a thing. That's <laughs> no, not. What? <laughs> All right. Is All right. bit is Bitcoin still? Let me look where Bitcoin is. Where is it at? I don't actually. I think it. Uh, I I put Tony. Eighty three hundred. All right. Yes, yeah, Tony Demore uh, started a uh, uh, Bitcoin uh, group, and I told everybody short. 8730 short age 8730 so now all of it's my uh, all my buy orders have sold i made a, a sweet little eight percent no you didn't you know what's weird it's only a, it's only a thing when people talk about it it just skyrockets dan that, uh that goes up dan oh wait my bitcoin still on aol uh oh here we go loading issues these are always fun I have three hours, Dan. About loading issues, but it's way too much asking here. One y'all PM me, boy. <laughs> Ain't Why do people do that? Why do people do that? Somebody, somebody selling something, and they're like, right? "Yo, PM me, PM me a price. PM me right Kill now. yourself. No, no. <laughs> you're not buying. No. I'm not. You're not. I, I will block you before I PM you. <laughs> I will lose the sale before I PM you a price. <laughs> Kill yourself. I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not happening. I just do the. It just cracks me up. The marketplace cracks me up for real. Dude, we have these Bitcoins. <laughs> See, Hank, you came in at the wrong time. We talked about you already. You're cutting Yeah, baskets. we were talking about you for half an hour, penis wrinkle. Yeah, and the room's locked. You ain't getting in here, slick. <laughs> Sorry. Not Has anyone knocked yet? I can't believe. No. PM me. PM me a price. PM me your best price. It's listed. Get, it is. It's that's right. That's the lowest I'm going for you, Captain. DM me. Uh, dude, hey, I'll, Lead Acid are fine. I was dude. about to say, like, Lead Acid have a ton of reserve. If you ever look at, like, a Lead Acid and you look at the amp hours on them, they're, it's huge. But their discharge is garbage. It's garbage. They have these huge. 8d batteries at work oh man yeah. I, I just want to throw it would it i can't pick it up by myself they're like 200 amp hours dude but what they would just stay there forever or something or nah everyday audio's initial coin offering june 4th hey speaking of since we're on facebook at the moment they are doing they are legitimately making a coin producing a crypto yes oh it's called God. global coin why are they trying to do this thing global coin coins aren't a thing i'm not lying this is a thing Thing, <laughs> protos, bro. Aluminum tape solves all things. Speaking of aluminum tape, holla, where you at? A Amazon hey, this stuff sucks, dude. Yeah, I know. It was on, it was you, on Amazon for like eight bucks. I'm like, you in the door prep video that you probably haven't even watched. That shit's terrible. This so isn't bad. for like. What? Why is it bad? It's so bad. Why? Explain. Go. Why is the god of car audio deadener tape bad? Okay. First of all, it's it's marketed as a finishing tape. Okay. <clears throat> no, it's not. It yes. Is. It says yeah. sealing, but it's for sealing the seams of car audio deadener. Right. Like I just I bought an underlayment because we just did floors in one of our rooms. Is that tape good? Underlayment tape. You ever uh, seen that I'm stuff? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hey, look, Michael if it doesn't it. say Nashua on it, yeah, for sure. then it's garbage. That's the fancy one. What's the other one that's like budget one? <laughs> I think all I, of it. 
Everything I, else. What's it's like a S I I can't I can't remember the name. Everything else. It was like gone. the Nash one was like like fifteen bucks a roll. The other one's like eight, and I'm like, mm, yes. they both foil. I, I swear to God, if one oh, time I got a, I borrowed a box from Alan Hall, and he had like the budget foil tape, I don't. and I want, I swear to God, I want to kick him in the nuts, dude. I tried, I tried what did happen with SPL glue? Didn't you? Don't you have some? I do. What happened? Uh, you know what's funny? I started to use it today, and I keep meaning to do. Now that I have, like, I got a new camera. If anybody has seen the video that we posted the video uh, to YouTube, our YouTube channel, Everyday Audios, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Garbage. Garbage. So uh, I started to do some testing now that I got a new camera. I got a new computer, start doing some videos and stuff. But the glue that I have is like six months old now. So I, I I can't do it. So I need to hit up Jerry Howard and get some more. Also, look out for... T fade tape coming soon. Sipping my tea. Finishing tape. It's terrible. It's garbage. You're muted. The uh, so I the think I'm muted. The uh, the uh, I'm a adhesive stinker. on the Noiko is it's just terrible. It's just very. It's not good. It's not good. Don't <laughs> waste your money. Too late. I have Here. tried all every tape that's out there. I have tried all of it. There's only like two tapes that are worth a shit. And the uh, the Nashua cold weather tape, if it doesn't say Nashua cold weather, don't buy it. What's the other one? I got to see it right now. And the other one is waterproofing tape. That is the butyl tape. It's uh, Oh yeah, that stuff's sick. That is amazing. I love that shit. I that use stuff's it everywhere. That's expensive though. <laughs> Yes. Well, there's a reason for that. So if you if you're using tape to like quote unquote finish deadener in your doors, seal anything on your doors, or put anything anywhere that is gonna touch water, get the waterproofing tape. It's a butyl adhesive. Uh, it creates a waterproof permanent bond. Maybe, yeah, maybe I got I'm the not- maybe I got the 3M one. I definitely I have. Want- what? Juice box. Uh, I think uh, Kevin still owns the name. I don't. He doesn't use it anymore, though. I actually heard from Kevin today. What he said. And he. Uh, it's funny because he saw our post about the podcast tonight, and he said that the uh, the tariffs haven't really been hitting him all that hard. Oh yeah, that's what I want to talk about too. Because I seen, you know, I seen one company come out and post like this is this is just what it is. We gotta yeah, go. I mean, we gotta go up fifteen percent. What are you gonna do? I'm. Here's the thing: as a as a consumer, I'm gonna buy what I need to buy. But if you're gonna go up fifteen twenty percent on the prices of shit that I don't need to buy, I'm not gonna buy it. So, is this the end? I'm, listen, I, <clears throat> I've been watching. Like I've never seen a single episode of. Uh, House of Cards, but now I've been binge watching. <laughs> is that where you're getting so, all your information from? Yes, this is 100% where I'm coming from. Kevin Spacey? Me and Kevin Frank Spacey. Underwood, we're, we're like trying to negotiate these things. <laughs> I'm at the part where like... I never was watched like, it. <laughs> oh, you've never? Heard? No. You should probably start. You should probably What's start it on? Is it on Netflix or something? No, no, isn't it banned on everything? I don't know. It's on Netflix. Because Kevin Spacey touched little boys or something, so it's yeah, banned everywhere. I, mean, they, I think they... They killed it, but yeah. there's still six seasons on six seasons on Netflix. So. Uh, I might get on it. Uh, yeah, but isn't it all? Isn't it? <sighs> We're boring, but he's watching. <clears throat> beat it. Who? Make it. Make it thirty-eight. Hank, beat it. Isn't uh? Isn't it always? Isn't it just retaliation from them? Their tariffs on us? I, probably. I mean, honestly, the same exact thing that's going on right now is going on where I'm at in House of Cards, which is <laughs> I find hilarious. It's hilarious. Doo, 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 doo. That, I mean, that that I'm in like season two, I think. It's, how long ago is that? It was like yeah. 10 years ago or something stupid. It's like the same exact thing, mm-hmm. except that it was energy and not imports. But it's the same. I mean, it's the same stupid thing. Crazy. What happened to that guy used to, Hank used to post a guy that played Fortnite. He used to get like two viewers, and I felt bad jumping in there. You should go watch him, Hank. What? Yeah, do the Fortnite. Go, go watch your gaming buddy, Mafia or something, Mid Mafia. I don't know. Kill yourself. 
<laughs> what was the other thing? Yeah, so the hundred fifty dollar challenge is coming to a close. This has by far been the loudest years. Oh my god. There's like Oh my god. So there's oh, there's, there's a like, bunch over one fifty. I don't even I don't even know. It's like ten ten people over fifty yeah. on the sub only <clears throat> and like legit three or four yeah. over one fifty in the sub and and clap. Yeah. Like who's who I, I I still gotta post my runs, but Ronnie's got one. Ronnie's got a fifty-two in sub yeah. sub amp sub and amp class. Who else has it? Pull, pull up uh, twelve volt mag dot com in the uh, in the standings because uh, if you guys don't know, Thomas Van has started a sort what of a called? twelve volt mag dot com one two twelve volt, volt news mag. Uh, Thomas Van. No, it's not that. From explicit audio, uh, started a website, twelve volt mag, sort of like a, you know, it's like a everything audio type website that he's trying to make sort of like how magazines were back in the day, and he's been hosting the results for the. Uh, I don't see it. One hundred fifty dollar challenge. I see, volt mag. I see it. I see it. All right, damn it. I need print magazines. I don't, I don't do online magazines. I understand. I would love to have print in my hands too, but I just don't think enough people would buy it yeah. for us for it to to make it feasible. Yeah. No, we're not coming to slam, Sean. See, he doesn't. I, I need to get this. Uh, unless I didn't post it. Go to community. I am. Community. I'm. I'm there. I'm oh, there, okay. but I just didn't. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I'm not updated. So he's got- I, I, I know they're not up to date. He was working on it today. Oh, okay. He was working on it today, trying to get everything up to date. But still, like you like screen share the the results that we have. There we go. I can't I uh, can't read it where it is, but uh, what? I see it I see it on the on the Facebook feed, but I can't I can't read any of it. Oh my bad. Let me try to zoom in. Uh, I can't. I mean, those guys might be able to. I can't. Yeah, there you go. So, all right, wait. So this is how many over fifty Jesus. in sub only, and how many over fifty on uh... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like nine in sub only. Holy! But, but there's still he still didn't. There's a bunch that didn't update. Yeah. And um. Uh, Unless I didn't post my run yet, <laughs> but in sub and amp, looks like Ronnie. It's 152. Javier, is that how you say it? Javier Duque. Mm-hmm. 149 in trunk. Shit. I was gonna try trunk too, and then fade. No wall. Holla. Then me. No wall. <laughs> then Clint Falls. Man, that's some. That's by yeah, far I, the loudest. I th- I remember maybe last I, year. Maybe I'm tipping hands here, but. I've seen a couple of 150 plus runs in my uh, sliding in my DMs. Yeah, look at all the Lanzers, Brand X losers. Dude, that's like every year. There's like a, a boner. Yeah, I know. Brand it's X so funny how boner. we bought some of them and then the the price just jumped every time. Why does yours say Rockford? I don't know. I told Thomas to. Oh, Rockville. <laughs> update that. So many times. Just get the password and I'll do it all. Let's do it. I as he says he gave it to me, but he lies and I hate him. Look all the DL designs. Oh, Ronnie used a twelve loser. Why you use a fifteen? Yeah, that. see that's that dominance like that. Is, get that, it out of there. We might have to revisit the rules next year. Get it out of here. Anyway, he, he still the the well. Oh yeah, so he didn't operate. I mean, he didn't uh, update it at all. Because there's two 58s for sure and a 59 yeah. mm-hmm. and whatever you saw. Yeah, yeah. He's doing um, he's doing it all tomorrow because he kept tagging me. Is this legit? Is this legit? <clears throat> all right. Y'all are killing us on the questions. Where are you at? 160 for 150. Oh, we're oh, waiting man. on you, Chris. Dude. Are you like, what you waiting on, cuz? I bet he what won't. I feel like he sending him it. some of the crap just to he see. He won't do it. Actually, yeah. It's. He could do it in a CRX, but it's too much work. I mean, it, he wouldn't take probably. the prizes anyway. So just see if you could do it, man. Yeah. Just see if you can do Even, it. Even it's it ends tomorrow night, but still, yeah. just do it. Wait till Saturday, and then it just crush everyone's hopes and dreams. I don't want to win a fifteen. I want to I'll I'll put you on the wall of fame, 
but you you can't win the prizes. What but are yeah, the prizes? The Is prizes this... are pretty awesome. What are the prizes? Got, I forgot them. We got them. Deadner, and we got Wire, and we got uh, Box Designs. We got uh, we got all kinds of shit. I don't even know how we're gonna. We're just gonna have to leave it up to the to the donators, like what class they want to give it away in, or maybe we could just do like the loudest down gets the first pick. I don't know. I probably should have worked that out beforehand. I just I know we got a a huge prize pool, which is freaking awesome. Man, I miss the days of the forum because now I'm gonna have to go through everybody's loser page and find the cool videos from Slam. I know. Like somebody should somebody should make a group right now. Slamology vids. Do it. I'll join. Power compression is so You don't have a project, Ronnie. When it uh all right, so when you send power to a voice coil, it heats up. Right? And heat is resistance. So when resistance rises, you get less power. Okay, so so you heat, got dessert biscuits. resistance, less power. So the more heat or the more power, the more heat, the more resistance. Okay. So at a certain point, there you'll there will come a time where there will be so much heat and so much resistance that it's like you'll start losing because uh, you just whatever you're putting in is just not uh, going to come out. Or like your results would be not as. Hank is such a douche. Yeah, can we ban yeah. him? Can we like ban some him people? You know, I mean, you could push through it, but can't you? It, it won't be like. You won't gain as much as when you had gained at lower level no. or something. Okay, so let's say you have a thousand watts up. You if like you ST? put, if you put a hundred watts on it and you get one hundred forty dB. Yeah. All right. So you put two hundred watts on it, one hundred forty three dB. Like. That's what you should get. You double power, you get 3 dB. From 200 to 400, maybe you get another 3, 146. Now, when you go from 400 to 800, you might start seeing it, right? You might start seeing the the doubling of the power doesn't get you what it should. So that is you're going to start running into compression. And that's if your box is optimized because there's a lot of other variables. You might run into port compression. You might run into other compressions or, or uh, resonances or whatever, but mostly it's power compression. So I tell people this sometimes is like at a, a two and a half inch coil, like you're going to start seeing like ridiculous power compression at like 1500 Watts, right? You're, so you're going to stop seeing the advantages of a lower moving mass for a two and a half inch coil. Like the FU is loud as balls. But once you get to about 1,500, 1,700 watts, you might as well be using a 3-inch coil because you're going to start just heating it up and it's not going to see much much more after that. But, yeah, that's just it's power, heat, impedance. They made 3-inch coil obsidians? Hmm. Did they? No, I don't think so. No, I don't recall. I think they're both 2.5, Troy. But I do know what you're saying. <clears throat> Like when I, w- I went from like the Tantric MDs to the Tantric HDDs, everything just came alive. It was just like more like the lows were better and everything. Just... Well, uh, okay, lows being better is is motor force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because, what I meant. So motor force, uh, people discount motor force, motor force. But a big deal about motor force is it's so when you get near tuning, the port is is quote unquote for lack of a better word fighting it's fighting the sub right because the sub moves the least at tuning like the least excursion so it's like it's fighting the port is fighting it so in order to overcome that fight you need ass so more motor force more compression of the port and more excursion more excursion means more output so Hmm. When you're talking about lows, that means, you know, closer to tuning. Wah, wah, so, wah, wah. Uh, less ass is not going to it's not going to move as much. I don't know. Where is Murphy? I would I don't care. I would have him on. That'd be an amazing show. 
It'd break some records. Uh, yeah. Right. Where the money at, Murph? <laughs> you know he would have some ob- obnoxious excuse. It wouldn't. Okay. What? Get him on. Fuck it. I fuck it. I All right. Care. Find him, Jonathan. Let's get him on. Somebody tag him. Hank, you you was an accomplice. I know it. He was uh, what was that guy's name? What did he call? He had that fake profile that he used. Oh man, what was it? He had a bass. He had a bat, like a bass, as his profile picture. Hank knows Who? what I'm talking about. Murphy, yeah, like a fake account that he used on like for sundown. And, uh, what was it called, man? Damn it, Hank knows. What what was his name, Hank? Oh, Jonathan said he'll find him. Let's go, Demuth. For real. Let's go. Have him on. I mean, Brian Cones. That's who it we was. We know he's in Georgia. Brian Cones. <laughs> Somebody Did- said he was in Texas too. Dude, Jonathan DeMuth. Yeah, he's like, calling. They're like buddies. <laughs> now they're like buddies, he's, right? I thought he started T3. Yeah, they're like, they're like. And Jonathan used to in cahoots. sweep the floors from him. And Murphy's like, you know what? Hey, buddy, come build a yeah. sub with me. Yeah, he can call. How else is he going to get on the show? Yeah, he yeah. can call in. He can do whatever he's he wants. Yo, Cas- I mean, right now? No, because we're about to wrap <clears throat> this shit up. You remember but- Cascade Designs? Oh my god, they had the they had the sexiest looking subs ever. I think I posted about them the other day. What happened to them? Who was that? No, Cascade Designs Omega. They had like carbon fiber cones with that high surround. Sex, bruh. Sex. Brian Cones, Hank Veach in the building. You don't remember that fake profile? No. I hate you. I uh, Brian Cones. No. I don't No. Uh oh, Rusty leaked it. Hey now, yo, hey, Rusty. Just, I'll give you the password hey. to our page. See, hey. he did. Saying said he made that. He account. did, cause I remember one time I he messaged me and I kept like making him prove who it was. Like, look, show me, show me the date of a paper, and it was like a paper from Tampa, and Hank was on on vacation in Tampa. So I'm like, oh shit, is it Hank? Like, why did you do that, Hank? Y'all look gay. Oh God. <laughs> Rusty, this is what you can do. I'm going to give you the password to the page. Go live and just go in his face. Where's the money, Murph? He won't do it. He won't do it. He won't do it. I, we will take up a collection for you to do that. Have you? Though. How you know where he's at, Rusty? You met him or what's going on? What's the? Also, J- Jonathan, are y'all not buddies anymore? Do y'all stay in contact or how's that work? Yo, LML Des- I still got LML Des- L- Elemental Design subs. Dude, that AD was the bomb back in the day. AD? That was ED, yeah. Elemental Designs. They were, uh. <laughs> what? Murphy? Yeah, I can imagine. That's why I don't like talking about this, dude. Why? We can't talk about nothing on this fucking show. That's, we can't what? talk about how much Sean Bellinger's McLaren costs. We can't talk about Murphy's sick Dodge Ram. We can't talk about nothing. I'm sick of this shit. Uh, he said, John, are you not watching this stupid chat? Yeah, what? He said, Jonathan said he used to brag on us. Duh. Y'all play. Yeah, I mean, that. I don't blame him. Pretty, yeah. pretty solid. Oh, dynamic, so- dynamic duo. It'll be like yeah. Wonder Twin Powers activate. Go. Yeah. Give me some. Give sound, me some. Let me hang it. I'm not doing that. Sound, sp- it. Sound, it. sound, splinter was, sound Splinter was lit, too. Yes. I used to love. I want to see Ronnie. Somebody, Ronnie, find one of those R L I P eights or something. Remember those things? Yes. Those were hot sex. What was the other Dude, one? Oh, back somebody. In the day, those were like the gangster eight. <laughs> Stuck at customs. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the great. No, it's so funny how big Southern Sound Off was to us, and in the in the community, but like nobody knows the inside jokes. Customs, bro. <laughs> Customs, hey, dude, because that custom shit was like worldwide, though. I, don't know, I, can't, I what mean, happened? nationwide. So they never, he, he just never ordered shit and just said they were in customs. Yeah, it just so happened though that there was. Oh like yeah, a, they, they shut down the ports or something, right? Huh? There yeah. was like a strike. <laughs> He's at like, like the fuck exact yeah. same He's time. Like, <laughs> this plays. This I was plays out. To myself, how can you be so lucky? You fucking douchebag, dude. Rusty, do you really talk to him weekly, bro? I don't have no bet. I don't. He never. F me over, so I don't care. I don't. I mean, if somebody y'all don't like him or not, that's up to hey, y'all. Are you but serious? he hates everyone and everything. Carl, dude, Rusty, now. 
Get some video. Get pictures or something. Oh, Why do you God. talk to him? I, he's making it up. He's making that up. I don't think he is. I heard some more inside jokes on him. Look, uh, you got twelve minutes. Call in. Who, John? Who? Wait, which one? Rusty or Jonathan? I don't care. Uh, Jonathan Demuth. Yeah, you can call in. <laughs> well, yeah, we do got to wrap it up in. Yeah, we got to wrap got, it up. Like we got 10 minutes. 15 minutes. 10 minutes worth of uh, T3 audio, but Jonathan do, Demuth. Wait, T-S-N-S, is it locked? The greatest music sub of all time. I still have some uh, TSS motors. Hey, oh, you got to post the uh, thing in the oh, chat my bad. so Jonathan can uh, call in. I got to do shit. Jonathan, he's going he's gonna to post the, uh, the link in the chat. Just uh, click it. Wait. I'm not friends with him. Oh, you're driving? Oh my god, you're always driving. <laughs> how? Why are you watching this podcast? Are you driving? Uh, he's always driving. I I honestly cannot believe how well this hotspot is doing. I'm serious. I, like, I need to call Verizon tomorrow, and uh, and first tell him stop robbing me. But I appreciate the service. I miss, dude, you know how big Tantra could have been? I don't care what none of y'all say. He had everybody. Dude. He had the biggest dude. names in in every, in audio at the time. I know. Hey, it could have been. Except for Hank. Been, he didn't. It, well, I don't know. Hank was rotten. Garden. Terrible. Tantric's coattails. 100% Why rotten. would anybody give Hank stuff like discount? It's I'm not sure. Retarded. Hey, I, I, I PM'd you, uh, Jonathan. Just click that, and it should pop up on your phone. Unless you got Apple, then you're screwed. <laughs> then, then kill yourself. That's true. Oh. Uh, a, a decal request in the chat. For what? Message the page. Message the page. We got to get some kind of... Somebody's got to help us out with that, because I don't know how to do nothing. Like a Shopify or something? <laughs> What is that? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what Patreon is either. Somebody explain it to me. Give me the rundown. Give me the cliffs. That's like a. <clears throat> I think people can sign up just donate for what? A dollar every. Like it just like it just comes out know. your like it just comes out your bank account every month. I don't know for what. Like we know. we doing this for free no matter what. Like you don't like, have to look, pay us. Big D Wiz just just showed yeah he up heard he heard and donations he and he's like hold up. <laughs> Somebody, somebody say donut. Ding, 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 ding. Dude, when he signs off and there's like the thanks to my Patreon supporters, is like a yeah. freaking Star yeah. Wars level yeah. freaking roll of credits. We got the shittiest. Oh, Patreon we is. got the shittiest fans. Terrible. Tell me what yeah. super chat yeah. is. I don't know. Everybody what that send is. Us money. Yeah. <laughs> How do we get I got, money? I got shit to buy. Yeah. I just want to buy stuff. I sent you the link, John. Stickers. <laughs> what was that story too dude what? jake i swear to god I, listen yes i know you did i know you i'm did. like i'm like bad juju yeah what's uh what's that I story about leaving juju. jason in tennessee can, can you tell that one what me no didn't murphy leave jason in tennessee or something and say like what see if you ever went to finals every once in a while you would hear this shit or you'd be there for that yeah, what's a super chat, bro? I just right. try, I just want to get money. Dude, I was so I was there. Oh wait, right? somebody's trying to get in. My bad. So Jason, wait, drove... are you telling a story or are we letting him in? Yes, both. All right, go bet. Uh oh, there we <clears> go. <throat> Ahem. Oh, everybody, sit up straight. It's Mr. Jonathan Demuth. Seatbelt on. Safety first. <laughs> I'm pulling over. <laughs> All right, what? listen. We don't have a whole lot of time, yeah. right? What? So you need you need to tell everyone. <laughs> ask me who what you what, are. Just ask me what you want to know. So. Get out of the tunnel right, first. So, no, no. Who you are? Yeah. So you're T three, right? Okay. I'm uh, I'm Jonathan Demuth, and I use. God damn it! Is that Wait. me or him? No, that's him. Wait, it's lagging or. Hang on, hang on. You're in. You're in. Are you in Georgia? Like do y'all, do y'all got Wi Fi yet? Oh Lord, it's trying to reconnect. <laughs> All right, you, go. It. You got it. Go. Yeah. You're in a bad area though. Just go. You got it. We got it. We got you. Yeah, we, we got you. Okay. 
You guys want to know. You got to start over. Yeah, you're good. Go. Jonathan, T3 Audio, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm the owner, or was the owner of T3 and founder of it. Right. All right. So tell us your current and former <laughs> relationship with how Ronald s- Murphy. Why is it not Ronald? Why is it Ron L? Okay. Oh. It's, Ro- it's Ronal. Ronal. R-O-N-A-L. <laughs> is that his real name? Yeah. Okay. His, his real name is Brian yes. Collins. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might be. So how did y'all start off? With- okay, so, okay, so I met, I met Murphy in 2005. Um, I was referred to him by a fellow installer. I was trying to figure out some motorization stuff and was told that Murphy could possibly help me. So that's how I met Murph. Uh, I started my company uh, around 2006. Um, Murphy's just, you know, Murphy's just always been a friend. He, Murphy didn't have any input on my products, uh, any design of my products. Really? Because he told he 100%, everyone, yes. everyone and anyone that Those... he, he was 100% the designer of the TSNS yeah. and, and the yeah, rest of your I, I shit. He, I know he did. And uh, no, this is, is something not true? he and I had talked about over the years. Is that not true? No, that's not true at all. <sighs> Strike one. Okay. So, uh, Murphy, the only thing Murphy ever did for T3 Audio was read Cone Woofers at shows where I would pay Murphy to read Cone drivers for me and another guy named Buzz Thompson that used to be around me and T3, I would fly them to shows and pay them to recone speakers at, at large competitions. Jeez. That's right. that's far from what he told everybody here. I mean, yeah. It's, it's <clears throat> and I'm sure, and I'm sure. Um, you know, he started Tantric about the time that T3 was starting to go down because of a bad partnership I had entered into with the with a, a gentleman by the name of Mark Pyle that was one of the original founders of Pyle Car Audio. Wow. Um, so T3 went south real fast, uh, thanks to him. If he ever watches this, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I noticed Murphy started sliding in, wanting some parts, some pieces, <laughs> started his tantric thing. Actually, I was the person who took all of his photographs for his first products. They were done at my lake house up in North Georgia. <laughs> in my basement i would i would take pictures of his orange sticker products and yada yada um he he always claimed he had loans from shaquille o'neal he had loans from oh yeah ken, ken griffey jr and she, well, i know a lot ken of these griffey, guys. that's a new one i never you heard the shaquille yeah. one i heard shaquille i, I never, never heard, heard that griffey. <laughs> i never heard and here's I the deal <clears throat> And the deal is, is I actually know Shaquille because he he's opened a bunch of Krispy Kreme donuts places up here in Georgia. Okay? <laughs> so he's never met Murphy, and he had his system done at a place called Eye Candy in Orlando when Murphy worked there. But Murphy never touched the his F six fifty Super Duty. <laughs> so That's... um, anything and everything that Murphy ever led me into as far as other installers that could do stuff for anything he ever got Jonathan, me Jonathan, turn let, me, let me stop you there. Jonathan. Is- <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan. Hello. Let me, let me stop you there. Listen, we want to hear literally everything you have to say, but it is so bad right now that it's like it's, it's not coming. Through. Fifty. Listen, listen. Could... Right. Next time, listen. We're gonna have to have you on, uh, maybe next week or something. Uh, have a special episode or something. But right now, it's like untenable. We can't have it. But like, let's. The takeaway here is Murphy lie. Yes. <laughs> He's just horrible. Horrible lied. And uh, scammed everybody. So we appreciate you calling in. Yeah, we appreciate you calling in. We're gonna have to let you go. We gotta boot you. We gotta get out of here anyway, man. All right, man. I didn't know the Shaquille O'Neal one. Oh my god, it goes so much deeper than I oh, think. That's what she yeah, said. Pause. Every single person, 
every single person that calls in that wants to talk about Dude. tantric is gonna have a different story. We have to we have to make like a right. Like I didn't even want to get into it. Why it's so much? It's like drama. A five episode yes. rabbit hole. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. god. We're gonna get Jerry oh, Fender on. We get Jerry Fender on. Yeah, we have to have Fender on too. Uh, damn Alan it. Hall, man. Alan Hall playing around. He said he'd been getting his stuff ready to get on. Listen, he's, he's I've got been his own have shit. Alan on anyway. So yeah, I know. We'll talk about. Yeah, Jesus. not even for the tantric stuff. Dude, we're gonna have to like do 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 special bulletin every no. audio. Buzz Thompson, isn't he FloridaSPL.com? Do you know him? I legit have. I legit had. What are you laughing at? Someone in the chat. Alan. Oh, he popped in. He heard tantric. And he's like, "Hold uh-huh. up, can I get is paid? It? Can How I get paid?" I said, as soon as we're like talking about someone or say a buzzword, like people pop in. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Murphy. Everybody else is lying. Murphy's true blue. Look, wait, you know what we should do? We should get everyone on Southern Sound off like five yeah. minutes on yeah. the show. Like just go. A- alive, just pop just, in, just go. Yeah, we gotta do it at. We gotta do like at a big hall. We have to do a live everyday audios event. <laughs> it would be so stupid. Oh my god, we gotta wrap this up, brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to know how T three ran out. Of, oh yeah, he told us how T three went. But dude, I used to love T three stuff. They look, they Bruh, look clean, dude. The TSNS is still like. Oh shit! I fucked up. One oh, of the greatest on? ones ever. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. What's that? The four HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Out. Although, uh, I'm sure Ryan Viviano come in and tell us it's not a 4 HP. We gotta have him on, too. Oh, we gotta have fucking Quentin on, too. God damn it. We gotta... Yeah, what happened Dude, we have that? to have everyone everyone on that I've tanked their company. So... Yeah, go. what happened? Yeah. Everybody like, fade gets behind and starts getting the captain of teams. He's right? like, anybody, hey, shut anybody it down! <laughs> anybody want to partner with me? What's hey, up now? Hey, I got money to put in a company. <laughs> That's why I don't believe in Bitcoin. Bitcoin's out the business. Thank God. Hey, Andrew Bailey, drop this man immediately. Do not let him touch anything. Your company's in jeopardy. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know what that is. TFE but... started a revolution. Of what? Of awesomeness. Are they still out know. there? I haven't seen one in years. Besides it's yours. A started a revolution of big amps. <laughs> I don't know. If I, maybe. We have to beat it. I, I want to have Rusty Flowers on, too. Yeah, we got to get Rusty. I, I've messaged him several times. Everybody message <clears throat> Rusty Flowers right now and tell him to come on. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed to say that's the only, that literally probably the only company I've never ran a product of. I've had many, I've many, had many any. DC products. I feel bad. I don't want to be judged. All right. End wrap it 